Today we will talk about one of the biggest challenges facing the telecom industry. The need for carriers to migrate from SDH to Ethernet transport networks. The exponential growth of data traffic has brought unprecedented challenges to the carrier's existing transport infrastructure with bandwidth demands that sometimes require redesigning the entire network architecture. Network operators are asking themselves how they can manage this transition in a cost-effective manner. Ethernet has a compelling value proposition for IP transport and service delivery because it offers more bandwidth than traditional technologies at a reasonable price. Still, for certain network operators, it doesn't make financial sense to abandon their investments in legacy infrastructure on day one. To reduce the risks involved in implementing new infrastructure, these network operators are choosing the path of evolution rather than revolution. ECI recommends a three-phase migration process. In the first phase, the migration begins by supporting Ethernet over the existing infrastructure. In the second phase, once Ethernet traffic starts to pick up, the move to dedicated Ethernet infrastructure in certain parts of the network is justified. In the third phase, as Ethernet becomes the predominant traffic over the entire network, the migration to a total Ethernet network is completed. Right now, we'll examine just the first phase of this migration process. Let me show you what I mean. This is the XDM1000, ECI's flagship multi-service provisioning platform, or MSPP. The XDM1000 is part of ECI's proposition for an end-to-end -end network. The platform combines leading SDH sonnet, Ethernet, and optical capabilities. So how does an operator start the transition from traditional TDM to carrier Ethernet and packet-based services in a cost-effective manner? One solution our customers really like for this first phase of migration is the hot swappable MPLS carrier class switch or MCS cards. These cards provide instant Ethernet processing ability to the existing MSPP based network. Here, it's this easy. I'll show you how. Now I will show you how in just a few minutes the IPTV service can be easily configured using automation and the user-friendly interface of the Lightsoft network management system. The user selects all of the network elements that need to be connected by the MPLS tunnel mesh. With a single click, Lightsoft automatically builds a full mesh of tunnels between all of the selected elements. This unique feature saves a considerable amount of time and reduces the risk of human error. After the tunnels are set, it's time to provision the IPTV service. The user configures the service as routed multipoint. The root and the leaf endpoints are selected. The policer, CVLAN and multicast address parameters of the endpoints are defined. Finally, the user simply clicks on Activate and Lightsoft configures the service on all selected elements. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? So now that the network is configured, let's visit the end user and see what does it all mean for him. It means we can easily provide multicast streams of high-definition video, voice, and data, as we can see here in the living room of a home user, in addition to mission-critical applications for business customers. Service providers can increase their revenues by offering next-generation services without a significant investment in their infrastructure. That's what we at ECI call a smooth migration. Thank you.